Hi, fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We're back with another reaction. We're back to the pitch meetings, fam. Which one, Dan? We're on to Captain America Winter Soldier. Yes. Still in the MCU-verse here. Yes. I'm sure there's no problems with this movie, but let's go see what they <laughs> could possibly find. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. Oh, you have a Captain America sequel script for me. Yes, sir, I do. It's called Captain America the Winter Soldier. Oh, the Winter Soldier, huh? Let's see what that's all about. Yeah, I'd much prefer if you didn't Google the title. Oh, the Winter Soldier is Bucky Barnes, Cap's friend from the first movie. Wait a spoil. Yes. Was that supposed to be a twist or something? Yeah, it's like this big mystery during the whole movie. Oh, well, maybe you shouldn't put the Winter Soldier in the title. <laughs> I mean, I'd have to come up with another title and everything. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that is like a whole thing. Yeah, I mean, people that don't use the internet will be surprised. They they sure will. So what's the movie they about? Sure will. Oh, well, we're yeah. going to find out that Hydra was secretly operating within S.H.I.E.L.D. this whole time, so the whole agency's compromised. What? Mm. Yeah, pretty crazy, right? Yeah, it sounds super cool, but doesn't it kind of mess up some of the movies we've made already? Yes. What do you mean? Well, like, that means that in the Avengers, Hydra actually had the Tesseract? Oh, yeah, I guess they did. <laughs> also, why would Hydra let Nick Fury put together the Avengers in the first place? Yeah, I guess they wouldn't have allowed that to happen. We also had Tony Stark go into S.H.I.E.L.D.'s computer in the Avengers and see all their dirty little secrets. Yeah, I guess you would have noticed the giant evil organization lurking within. You'd think, right? <laughs> but it's going to be a cool movie, though. Oh, it is. Okay, then. Yeah, so anyway, Hydra wants to launch these three helicarriers. And these things will kill They're people cool. by the millions. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Nick Fury starts to figure out that something fishy is going on, so Hydra tries to assassinate him. Uh-oh. Yeah, well, luckily, everybody has horrible aim, so he does pretty well for himself. <laughs> oh, good. But then the Winter Soldier shows up. Oh, Bucky shows up? Well, yeah, but we don't know that it's Bucky yet. <laughs> yes, we do. And he shoots an explosive. <laughs> Explosive thing at Fury's car. Why didn't they start with that? They wanted to play with the little guns first, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, then it turns out that Nick Fury dug a hole in the ground and escaped through there. Oh, how do you do so that? Tight. Ugh, that didn't sound good at all, did it? <laughs> Not at all, sir. My bad. So anyway, I guess Bucky chases him down the hole. Oh, no, no, that's where the scene's gonna end. But isn't Nick Fury all banged up? He can't have gotten far in a little tunnel. The scene's over. I don't know what to tell you. Well, okay then. Anyway, so then Nick Fury's gonna go to Cap's apartment and be like, "Hey, buddy, Shield is compromised." Oh. And then he's gonna get shot and he's gonna die. For real? Of course not. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Why would so he? then Hydra is suspicious of Cap and they try to take him out when he's leaving Shield headquarters. Oh, so they're gonna shoot him or something? No, they're gonna send some guys to try to take him down in hand to hand combat. Seems like a pretty dumb strategy. I think yeah, so. Yeah, <laughs> like this is Captain America. Obviously, don't try that. Does it work though? Of course not. Right, obviously. <laughs> yeah, Cap is gonna jump out of an elevator and escape on a motorcycle. Very exciting. But then an attack plane thing is gonna get in his way. Oh man, is it gonna be hard? hard for him to take down an attack plane thing? No, it's gonna be super easy. Barely, Barely an inconvenience. inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, we're gonna do this cool thing where physics stop mattering. We are? Yeah, he's gonna jump from his <laughs> Good motorcycle play on words. to the plane thing. Then he's gonna basically play pinball with his shield, which, by the way, is a boomerang now. Wow. And later he's gonna meet up with Black Widow, and she's just gonna keep asking him about his love life the whole movie. She's a girl. Yeah, and they're gonna yes, yes, that Zola kept his consciousness alive in a computer system from the 70s. Zola is in one of the bad guys from the first Captain America America movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, nobody really ever dies in Marvel movies, huh? <laughs> no, yeah, they you don't. Know, that's gonna be less and less surprising every time we do it. I mean, as long as we don't get too crazy with it, like, let's not bring back Red Skull one day or something. Yeah, that would definitely be overdoing it. Oh, yeah, that'd be mm. weird. Anyway, then stuff is oh, getting boy. really bad, so they need to find someone they can trust to help them out. Oh, so who do they go to? Well, obviously, they get in touch with the Avengers. No. What? This movie doesn't have the budget for Avengers. You're already pushing it with Black Told you. Widow. <laughs> but we've established that they all exist in the You're same right. universe, and they trust each other. I don't know what to tell you, man. Man, it feels like it's gonna be hard to make solo movies now that the Avengers came out. Yeah, I mean, why do you think we're heading to space with the Guardians of the Galaxy this year? Alright, I guess I'll throw in a scene where Captain America meets, like, a friendly guy while he's jogging or something, <laughs> and that guy will turn out to be kind of a superhero. I mean, I guess could be Falcon from the comics. That works for me. Well, alright, then. Just throwing this together on the fly? Need, why not? To a guy that Captain America met once while he was jogging. Fantastic. And then later like we're going to have Black Widow infiltrate a meeting with the head of Hydra using a high-tech face mask. That sounds familiar. It's from Mission Impossible. Yeah. Mission Impossible, that's it. And then Cap and Bucky are going to fight in an exploding helicarrier, and Cap's going to fall out of it into the water. Uh-oh. Yeah, but then Bucky's going to end up saving Cap from drowning. It's going to be nuts. Oh, that's going to be so cool to watch. Yeah, we're not going to show that, actually. Oh. oh. So what do you think of the movie? It sounds pretty good. I like it. Yeah, you don't think destroying S.H.I.E.L.D. is going to impact anything moving forward i can't think of a single way that it could <laughs> uh yeah nonsense man nobody cared about that <laughs> i never even watched it so there i didn't either <laughs> 
Okay, let's go back to this hole that apparently Nick Fury dug up here. Mm -hmm. So he had time to just <laughs> dog his way through that. <laughs> that was concrete, right? I'm pretty sure he's on the street. Yeah. So okay. uh... yeah, that sounds like total horse shit already. <laughs> Unless he landed perfectly on a manhole cover. And then just somehow pulled it up and it just wasn't there or it dematerialized or... Yeah, and the and the <laughs> emphasis on the word being perfectly landed on a manhole right, cover. Right. But no, he dug his way out. Come on. Like, manholes are tight, okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's going in the title. That's right. <laughs> Holes are title. <laughs> yeah, oh, God. And I've been telling you from the beginning, why don't you see more Avengers in these movies? The budget, Because yeah. there's no budget. They finally confirmed it. Well, I mean, I knew that was always the case. It's I just, know, but I needed them to confirm. He just straight up said it, yeah. Yes. Like, that explains why they're not in any of them. So, yeah. Yeah, let's bring up this random guy who's going to be a superhero. and But he's not really a superhero. He just kind of has a suit that makes him super powerful and allows him to fly. I'm like, okay, whatever. Exactly. <laughs> I love the part, though, right at the beginning that we were talking about, how the Winter Soldier, anybody can just look it up and see who, the, who it is, kind of takes away all the mystery. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wait, was it that easy? To look it up in the... Because it was, it it was part of... It would have been the comics, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Basically, anybody who's read the comics, you just spoiled it for everybody. And then, you know, I'm pretty sure that even before the movie came out, people were going to be like, oh, yeah, Winter Soldier's obviously Bucky. You, know, you always have people speculating about this stuff as soon as the trailer drops. Like, oh, yeah, everybody knows the answer to this. Oh, that's because they assume everybody's a comic reader back in the day. Well, not even that. It's just like people who know the comics are going to spoil it for everyone. That's what I'm saying. The yeah. guys who read it assumed everybody else has, too. I'm like, well, that just shows where your social... Where you're like a social like smarts are right not very much right they, you didn't think to ask the question well wait have you read the comics okay i'm not spoiling <laughs> that for you then. yeah yeah be more creative with the title there or something all right it's not like they couldn't go look it up on their own anyway yeah you can google that at any point that these movies are coming out and find the answer mm -hmm. and yeah that would have been that i love the point too that hydra's infiltrated shield and like nobody in shield knows it like what the heck nick fury is like the greatest intelligent agent intelligence agent on earth how do you not realize your own organization is an old Nazi group? Because we had a we had a plot to maintain here. <laughs> sure, it was full of tight holes, but still. <laughs> they had to do what they had to do, man. Right. They chose the story, and then they had to run with it. Right. Here's my question. Was this the same story that was in the comics? That I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me if something like that happened in the comics, but I don't know. If it was in the comics, that would explain why they used the plot that they used. Right. If not, then they went off the deep end for no good reason at all. Which is weird, like, people high up in the organization are part of this whole Hydra scheme, and yet it's been a closely guarded secret for 70, 80 years. Funny how that works out, right? Yeah. Like, how did you manage to maintain that? I don't know. I don't know. That's shame on shame on the intelligence portion of all that. Right. So, it's like, wow, you don't, you don't know that there's problems within your own house. <laughs> so be it. And you gave them massive weapons of mass destruction oh, yeah. to go and do their own bidding? Okay. Those, those Helicarriers, whatever they are. Yeah. yeah. That wasn't going to just stop at taking out people you thought were bad guys. That was going to go into making sure you maintained supremacy over the planet. Right. You stopped them in the tracks somehow. Good on you. I don't know how, but good on you. Right. <laughs> hey, I'm filling the gaps for us there. I don't think either one of us has read, the, read all these comics. So if you know what the plot of the uh, Winter Soldier portion of those comics was, let us know, guys. Especially if it made sense to anything we saw in the movies here. But as always, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bells, check us out on those things up top, and like and subscribe again. As always, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, guys. Later, guys.